This is the water strider. What happens if when soap bubbles are applied to their legs? Let's learn about water striders today. Water striders are commonly encountered insects. While most insects live exclusively on land or in water, water striders are unique insects that inhabit the boundary between water and land. I caught water striders myself and looked at their characteristics. Since they live in areas with minimal water flow, you can easily find them in a place with stagnant water. There are several here. The reason they are found in many places is because they can move between habitats. Most people don't know that they can fly. If you look closely at their back, you can see them extending their wings. However, most species cannot fly for long and primarily move by jumping. Fascinating, isn't it? You can easily catch them using an insect net. We brought them to the laboratory for closer observation. First, the most remarkable feature of water striders is that they float on water. Most insects are light enough to float on the water's surface, but they truly stand on the water with their foot. To put it in human terms, it feels like this. How do they stand on water? We observe them under a microscope. First, their bodies are divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. The head has one pair of antenna and one pair of compound eyes and they have one pair of short front legs and two pairs of long legs on the thorax. The front legs are similar in shape to those of a praying mantis and serve the purpose of capturing prey. They are carnivorous insects that hunt for insects that have fallen into the water. They use their front legs to catch prey and suck the bodily fluids of their prey through a proboscis. Fortunately, they rarely bite people. Next, the reason they can walk on the water's surface is evident when you examine their legs. If you zoom in on their legs, you can see numerous hairs from which a hydrophobic substance is secreted. The surface tension of the water and the hydrophobic substance in its legs allow them to stand on water. Furthermore, their long legs are structurally advantageous for distributing weight, and the air bubbles formed between the hairs on their legs also generate buoyancy. They have bodies optimus for walking on the water's surface. However, when they encounter soap, they lose their ability to walk on water, carefully gripping their abdomen. Apply soap to the tips of their legs. And when you observe them again in the water, although they appear to swim well, something seems a bit off. Unlike their previous appearance when their bodies were floating on the water, now, most of their bodies are submerged in the water. Even worse, they are completely submerged like this. But don't worry too much. They clean their legs themselves. By removing the soap from their legs, they can float on the water's surface again. However, if the water is heavily contaminated with oil or soap, they will sink and die. So, in polluted water environments, water striders do sink and perish. Environmental pollution is causing harm to various organisms in various ways. Next, they move very quickly on the water surface. This impressive speed is attributed to the, their middle legs. They utilize their middle legs to paddle, creating whirlpools in the water. As a result of this interaction, they can swiftly move forward. Their rear legs are used for changing direction. Observing them, you can see how they use their rear legs to steer. Lastly, they possess exceptional abilities in detecting ripples on the water's surface. This allows them to converge swiftly towards the prey's location. They can even generate ripples around their bodies, which they use to communicate with other individuals, creating waves in their vicinity to mark their territory. Males sometimes use waves as a form of intimidation during mating with females. Fascinating, isn't it? After the filming was completed, we returned them to where they were found. This video ends here. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing.